Well, I finished my book. I started out to write an autobiography. But the more I wrote, the less I liked the main character. After describing my first three failures, I gave up. It seems like the only thing I'm famous for is being a prime example of the double-minded man, unstable in all he does. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is John Mark. You probably read about me in Matthew's Gospel as the rich young ruler. I was rich. Filthy rich. I had everything, money, prestige, wine, women, and song. I hired the best teachers, and became an expert in the scriptures. So, when I went to Jesus, and asked to be a disciple, all I expected him to demand of me was a donation. But he didn't want to have anything to do with my money. In fact, he made it only too clear, that my money was my biggest problem. Now tell me. How can money be a problem? It had bought me everything a man could want. Except happiness. I had an emptiness deep down inside, that I was sure, that Jesus could fill. But he was being completely unreasonable. He said there was no hope for me, unless I gave away my money. So I just walked away from him. That was my first mistake. But the more I studied the scriptures the more I knew that Jesus was definitely the long-awaited Messiah because he performed miracles and signs as predicted by the scriptures. Scriptures that attributed these miracles to God himself. So, I was among the thousands of people standing along the road from the Mount of Olives to the Jerusalem gates when Jesus made his triumphal entry. We all laid palm leaves at his feet and sang his praises. I gave away my money that week and sat at Jesus' feet in the temple as he preached the good news of God's redemption. The more I listened, the more confidence I had that he was the one. Later that week I was with the large crowd late at night on the Mount of Olives when Jesus was arrested. The arrest took me completely by surprise. All of a sudden when temple guards arrived, my confidence in Jesus melted. That's when I made my second big mistake. I ignored all the evidence that Jesus was God incarnate. I ignored all his fulfillments of scriptures. And I ran for my life. One of the temple guards grabbed me by my tunic. But I was not going to be arrested like a common criminal. I'm a ruler, not a criminal. So, I ran. My tunic tore right off me, and I fled into the darkness completely naked. I regained my confidence in Jesus again, after he died and rose again. I was there on the Mount of Olives, when he ascended into heaven. A few years later, I linked up with the Apostle Paul and Barnabas to do missionary work all around the Mediterranean Sea. But that was my third failure. I had grown up with servants and three meals a day. On the road we were lucky to eat once a day sometimes. And I was getting discouraged. I started complaining. But Paul didn't want to hear it. He called me a crybaby and wanted to send me home. Barnabas defended me. But that just made matters worse. Paul and Barnabas ended up splitting up over me. They were a great team. I felt really bad. Now you see why I decided not to write a book about me. But I'm a well-educated man and I wanted to contribute something to the cause of Christianity. So, I ended up at the feet of the Apostle Peter and picked his brain for several years. The result was this book. They say they are going to name it after me. They are going to call it the Gospel of Mark. But it's not about me. It's about the long-awaited Messiah, who can take a double-minded man like me, mistakes and all, and use him for good. He can do the same for you. Read my book. Based on a play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use, do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from performances. You may reproduce and distribute this script freely, but all copies must contain this copyright statement.